Hi, so welcome to the sixth update for Retribution Paladins in Legion Alpha. Uh, this is a video from a PvE point of view uh, rather than PvP. And there have been a lot of changes. The last build, there were not that many changes. Um, so it, I, I was wondering if maybe Retribution Paladin was roughly where Blizzard wanted it. Just turns out they were working more on more specs last time and then this time there's more changes for us. There are a lot, um, so there are going to be a couple of videos for this one. There's going to be a game, a separate gameplay video um, following, because I won't be able to do that tonight. I am going to have to run several dungeons um, to be able to test all of these changes. So that will be coming in the next day or two. So what I'm going to just do on this one is run through the talent changes. There have been a couple of talents removed. Um, one of them is Blaze of Light, which buffed our Flash of Light. No great loss there, load of rubbish. Um, the second one, though, is Mass Exorcism. More people might mourn the loss of that. Uh, it did a couple of things. One, it meant that you could, if you used Judgment off cooldown, you could maintain your uh, Judgment debuff on a single target at any rate. Um, also, it was good for AoE. Now, the maintaining of it for 100% um, of the time I personally am okay with because I'd have generally taken Blessings of Justice anyway on single target. But for AoE, I hadn't really decided whether Mass Judgment was better on AoE than um, Blessings of Justice. It, it might have depended on who you could put the Greater Blessings of Might on. But now we get, they don't have to worry about it anymore because it's gone. <laughs> it's just flat out gone. Um, so I'm going to go through the talents as I say. Gameplay video will be coming up. If the gameplay video is already up at the time you're watching this video, there will be a notification down there. If it's not there, it means it's another day or two away. Okay? Right, so let's have a look through the talent tree. We'll do what we've done a couple of builds ago. So many changes. In the first tier, we've still got our execution sentence, which still does a lot of damage. Uh, is the best way to spend three holy power damage-wise. Uh, we've got consecration if we've got a number of mobs and we can keep them in there. Remember, if we use consecration there, let me just drag it down here. Um, doesn't move with us or anything like that. So if there was a danger of stuff moving out of it, it's not that great. But then we have this. Instead of eye for an eye here, we haven't lost that. That's down there. But we've got final verdict. Uh, this is back, except instead of just buffing Templar's Verdict, it buffs Divine Storm as well. So if we were to take this, um, let's just take it back so we can see here. At the moment, this is just uh, the level 110 pre-made character. Uh, it has the very basic Ashbringer, so it's not a very high, you know, this would actually be higher level, item level than this when you get to 100, 110. Uh, but it's just what I've got for now. So final verdict would go from doing about 113,000 damage to 135,000 damage. I, it's not going to compete with this. Uh, the difference in damage you're doing with this is not really compensating for this. Maybe you would use it if it was more convenient to you. If, for example, you had trouble timing execution sentence to be able to coincide... Uh, the damage to coincide with the judgment debuff. I don't know. But I'm looking at it from a raiding point of view and I'm thinking single target is still all about execution centers. It just does far more damage. Um, the Crusader Strike Row. Fires of Justice. Uh, still got the conviction thing in there. Crusader Flurry is still pretty much what it is. Zeal still pretty much what it is. I'm not really seeing any uh, changes here. Some... Abilities have been buffed. When I do the gameplay video, we should see some more damage uh, than before. Now, remember, some of the lack of damage that we had in the previous build, I think, was because certain abilities just weren't working. Um, I'm not sure whether they are now working. I, I can't tell whether any sort of previous bugs have been fixed. But at the moment, this doesn't look as if there's any change in it. Uh, should we try the zeal thing? One issue that we had last time was that zeal wasn't actually chaining. Still doesn't look like it is. Uh, unless you're really close to it. Can I get... How close do I have to be now? 
So let me just keep trying this. All right, it's working better, actually, because last time I had to be right over here. Uh, but still, it's still got a really short range. It could... I mean, if I'm on this mob, I would expect it to chain to that one. I, I wouldn't ha expect to have to put myself in between. But at least if I did put myself in between them and they're, that's, they're spaced out like that, it will work. So the zeal looks like it could be better. The next row is just what it was. Uh, there's no changes here. Um, it's a dead talent for us for Radiant anyway. Uh, unless we have to do regular stuns, we're unlikely to do. It's rare enough on a boss fight that there's any need to ever stun anything anyway. Occasionally there are. There are always some fights where you do. But do you have to stun like really frequently? Not usually. Next one. New new little graphic. Except it's the same one for Blade of Justice and Virtue's Blade. I'm not sure what it's going to stay for. Um, Blade of Justice has actually been buffed in damage. But in terms of what these do, um, not a lot different. They still behave as they do or as they did do in previous builds. But the damage has been buffed a little bit. Um, now, the next tier is the most interesting and the most disappointing for me. Um, because we've got Word of Glory in there. They've reduced the recharge time. It was one and a half minutes. It's now one minute. Um, so for Word of Glory, uh, I, I still don't see it being useful for radiant. I still don't see it being useful for anything when it's on a one minute recharge, even though we've got two charges. It's like a couple of quick blasts of healing. And it's only going to do it on those five friendly targets if you can get them to stack very close to you because it only has a 12 yard range. Still not seeing it. Eye for an eye is a PvP talent. Uh, that's there. You can't exclude the fact that maybe there will be a fight where there's um, a niche ability where you take a lot of physical damage. But then think about it this way. What about the other people in your raid? Um, I, I don't see this being used. This is a PvP talent. So that leaves Just a Cause Vengeance, a new one. Looks all right. It, it, it doesn't look too bad at all. Um, I'm just going to put this on Shift 4. It uses 5 Holy Power. Now, for the damage it does, it's not worth it. Unless against a stunned mob. Against a stunned mob, it is proportionally will do better damage than um, certainly Templar's Verdicts per Holy Power. It does more damage than Templar's Verdict, but it costs 5 Holy Power. So we've now got a 5 Holy Power ability again. Um Oh my god, that's changed. Okay, I'll come back to that in a minute. So, it does reasonable damage. The other thing it does is it heals us for the same amount of damage. So, it's a bit like what Holy Wrath was doing before, only it's a, a strike that you can use uh, in instant. You don't have to channel it. Um, Holy Wrath hasn't gone, but I'll, I'll come to that in a bit. So, it seems reasonable. Again, so for PvP, could be quite powerful. This is my issue with it. It looks quite powerful because against a stunned mob, that 100% additional damage makes it very powerful. And it heals you for 100% of the damage done as well. Really good. But even in a raiding sense, when you're not going to be using it against a stunned mob in, in uh, most cases, or even in a dungeon against a boss, um, it could still be useful because although it's not a DPS inc increase to use it, let's say you're struggling on healing it's a part of the fight where everything's going tits up um and you decide to to throw out a few of these you won't be able to spam it very easily because of the five holy power cost but you could use it uh, to give yourself a bit of healing seems decent for that and the fact that we're not going to take either of those two realistically um unless i'm really missing something with word of glory then means we all will take just because vengeance the problem is if we don't need that it's a it's another dead tier we've got two dead tiers of talents for raiding unless we get some use out of this unless we decide that we need a heal so badly that we're going to die otherwise and we use this because we will take this i would take this i would not take the other two on to the next tier uh divine intervention uh is what divine intervention was before um, but now we've got Divine Steed and Seal of Light on the same tier. So we already weren't all that happy with our mobility. And now the two things that buff our movement are on the same tier. So we get to choose one. We have nothing baseline, um, unlike most melee classes, and we have to choose one. So we either choose Divine Steed, which is our 
horsey that gives us a 100% movement speed increase of 4 seconds. Or we get Seal of Light, which if we keep it up, just gives us a 20% movement speed increase. You will notice Seal of Light has lost the attack speed bonus. All it does now is buff our movement speed. That's it. Three Holy Power. It lasts a minute. I'm just going to take this. Put it down there for now. Um, because I just want to check if it behaves in any way like it was before. So I'm just going to use this. So this is giving me a 20% movement speed increase. Now what I want to do, I'm just going to let it get down. I don't know why I'm using that. Uh, to a bit. And I'm just going to refresh it. So we are, yeah, it's adding some on. So that's okay. Um, it's doing what it was before in that, in that we can sort of boost it up. Um, if we use it again before it's... Uh, so we don't have to wait for it to completely wear out before we use that and waste the holy power. But that's a little aside. All it does is is buff our movement speed. That's it. It's just a movement speed increase that costs holy power. Um, it lasts a reasonable amount of time. It wouldn't be a massive problem to keep it up. If it's on a fight where we're having to move constantly and there are raid fights where we will have to move a lot, we might well have to take it. Is it enough? I'm not sure it is. Um... It's certainly not as much as some melee classes get. I still think DKs have been stuffed on that, but I'm not sure. I haven't been on the Death Knight uh, for a couple of builds, so I do need to check. But um, certainly all the other melee classes have far better mobility. And it's one of those things you think to yourself, well, if we don't really need it, does it really matter other classes get extra mobility? No, it doesn't. But if there are fights where we have to move bloody quickly or do a lot of movement between targets, then it matters, and there are such fights uh, in the raids that have been announced so far. That's my issue there, but we'll see how it plays out. And in the final tier, equality is still there. Everyone, I, I, I announced on Twitter, I thought, oh, equality's gone, equality's gone. It hadn't gone. They just literally moved it to the right. I, I don't know why. It was here, and now it's there. It's like, okay. Um... So we've still got Blessings of Justice. That still does what it does before. Holy Wrath is a completely changed ability. It's like completely different now. Um, it doesn't cost any Holy Power. It's just something on a two-minute cooldown. It still is a channeled ability. And it generates Holy Power. It does some damage. And it generates Holy Power. It's still channeled. So it's the sort of thing that you, you have if you find yourself at range um, and you haven't, you know, you, you just have to be at range for whatever reason maybe you've got to move away from the boss because of some sort of bomb effect uh you can use it to generate a full bar of holy power um but you wouldn't take it over blessings of justice blessings of justice is the only thing that will allow you to maybe get some damage out of uh the greater blessings because it, it buffs the frequency by double of greater blessing of might Forget about the other two great blessings. You're not going to take those. Uh, they're weedy, apart from anything else. And greater blessing of might, of course, is the only thing that will do you damage. And our damage, uh, because Blizzard still haven't made a statement uh, contradicting what they said originally. They are going to tune our damage around the idea that we have greater blessing of might on people. Um, so that's it uh, for the talents. In terms of abilities, some abilities, as I say, have been buffed. There haven't been massive changes to these. They've just changed the wording a little bit. Like, you know, well, I mean, Blessing of Freedom is the, is the closest one because um, it now only used on party or raid members, whereas it used to be just used on any friendly target, or at least the tooltip said that. Uh, in other regards... We've had a few abilities buffed. I did just notice something interesting uh, that I, I hadn't clocked when I was reading. I'm just going to do this. Right, so our Wake of Ashes... I only just noticed this. Uh, I'm doing the video. Which is the ability we get from our Ashbringer. It, if you've been watching my other videos, you'll notice that what it did before is it was an AoE and you placed it. Now you don't. Now it just goes on the target. Um, I think that's better. And it also appears to happen a lot more quickly because remember it, it generates our holy power. I like that. 
There's a couple of reasons I like that. One, we'd be expecting to, unless we can generate our holy power acts out of combat when Legion goes live, which we can at the moment uh, with Divine Hammers. We want to use it on the pull, and we don't want to be messing about having to place it. It's fiddly, it's clunky. So that's a big improvement. The other thing is, if you watched my uh, videos last week, you'll notice I was in a dungeon thing, and I was placing it, and then the boss suddenly charged out of it before it landed, because it took a couple of seconds to land, and I got no benefit from it at all. This way, because it's targeted on something, it would, it would follow that target. So that's really good. Um, now, in terms of doing gameplay, there's a lot of changes here. I am going to have to do quite a bit of testing before I can offer any serious thoughts on this. As a result, the gameplay video may not come out tomorrow. If you're watching this as soon as I put it up, the gameplay video may not come out tomorrow. But uh, I will get that out as a priority. I have another video non-related to Retribution Paladins coming out as well. But I will prioritise this update. So in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, please. If you don't like, comment why. And until next time, I'll see you later.